Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use tags for engagement tracking in ActiveCampaign. Uh, so let's start off with an example of how you would use engagement tracking and how tags would play into it. So for example, let's say you have an evergreen newsletter that sends an email every Monday, and you notice that open rates and click rates are declining and you want to do something about it. So you come up with the idea to build an automation that checks to see if subscribers have clicked a link in any of the past four emails they've received. If they have clicked on a link in the previous four emails, you continue sending as normal, and if they have not clicked a link, then you ask them if they're still interested in receiving your emails. Um, if they are, then again, you continue sending as normal, and if they don't respond, you remove them from the newsletter. So this sounds like it should be pretty straightforward, right? And well, it isn't really. There, there's a few ways you can do it with Active Campaign. Um, you can use tags or lead scoring or custom fields. Um, but the lead scoring, which is probably the easiest method, is only available in their uh, plus or professional or enterprise accounts and not in the light account. So I'm going to show you how to do it using just tags. So if we hop over to our evergreen newsletter automation. So let's walk through this first. So here we have someone subscribing to your newsletter list. And so that can happen on your website where someone, you know, just fills out the form and clicks subscribe. They get added to the list. And once they get added to the list, they will get entered into this automation. And all this automation does is send the subscriber an email every Monday. So here you can see we have the wait condition, it checks to see if it's Monday and then sends the first email. And then just so it doesn't send the second email the same day, I have a delay for two days. I'll talk about this in a second. Uh, so I have the delay for two days, check to see if it's a Monday and then send the second email. And this continues on. We can pretend that you have whatever number of emails in this automation. So like I mentioned, our goal is to sort of filter out who is clicking on the past four emails that we've sent. If they are clicking, then we leave them in the automation. And if they're not clicking on any emails, then we remove them. So that is done in two parts. We have this controller automation and then this function, which handles all the actual tagging. So let's take a look at the first part, which is the controller. So we have the triggers here as the contact clicks a link in any of the emails uh, within the Evergreen newsletter. And then I also have this segmentation so that they're currently in the newsletter, uh, <laughs> currently in the newsletter automation, just as like a fail safe. So we have click a link or click a link in this other email, which I'll, which I'll talk about in a second or they subscribe to the newsletter. So what happens after one of these triggers are activated is they exit part two, which will make a lot more sense in a second, and they restart it. So what happens in part two? Well, when someone gets added to part two, they get a tag that says sample newsletter engaged. So again, to make more sense of this, they only get this engage tag if they click a link or just subscribe to the newsletter. Then there's a wait for 30 days. So if they don't click any links for 30 days, which is approximately the four emails that we mentioned at the beginning, then their engaged tag is removed and we ask them if they're still interested in being subscribed to the newsletter. If we don't hear back in three days, you can pick whatever number you want this to be, then we basically take them out of the newsletter put a tag that says they're inactive and end the automation. So they won't receive any more emails from us. If they do click a link in this still interested email, then that will trigger, uh, where is it? Yeah, that'll trigger back in this controller aut automation. Um, that'll set this off, that'll exit the, the part two automation and restart this 30 day timer. So now what happens if, let's say, someone went on vacation for two months. So they didn't click any links during these 30 days. They got this still interested question mark email. They didn't respond within the first three days. 
So they got taken out of the newsletter. What happens then? Well, in our newsletter, I have a trigger for someone to re-enter if they click on the link in the still interested email. So once they re-enter, we don't want them to start at the beginning of this automation again. We don't want them to receive the first email or the second or whatever they've already received. And that's where Active Campaign's goals come in very handy, actually. So what the goal does is it can jump a contact to a section within the automation based on what they've done previously. So for this first goal, I named it received email one and jump to this action when the person has been sent the first email. This wouldn't be called delete me, obviously. It'd just be whatever the name of your first email is. So for example, if someone was inactive for 60 days and then clicked on the link to resubscribe to the newsletter, it would check to see have they received this first email. And if they have, it would take them right down to this goal. And then it would wait until the Monday and send them email too. Or if they've already received email too, it would jump them right down to this goal and so on and so forth. So that should pretty much cover how you can handle engagement tracking using tags in ActiveCampaign. Uh, I know it's a little more confusing than it might seem on the surface, but once you understand everything that's going on here, it's actually not too bad. So I hope this helps and let me know in the comments section below if you have any questions or if you found it helpful at all. Thanks for watching.